Has someone ever asked you to kick off a fiddle tune with four potatoes? If you were just as confused as I was, this lesson is for you, my friend. Today we're going to learn how to use some different potatoes than these ones to kick off a typical American old time or bluegrass fiddle tune. So buckle up and let's dive in. Before we do this lesson though, if you haven't had a chance, hit that subscribe button below and the bell notification button. Also, if you're interested in things like PDFs of the tablature and sheet music for today's lesson, as well as other goodies like backing tracks and access to our community of guitar players just like you, click that link below in the description to the Mandolin Secrets Guitar Club. There you'll find everything you need to know. Okay, my friend, let's get serious for a minute. I'm sure a lot of you out there were confused the first time that somebody asked you to kick off a tune with potatoes, if you even know what I'm talking about. Um, this was something that I was definitely confused by when I was a kid, and honestly, I I've seen a, a couple different explanations for where this term comes from, just like counting one potato, two potato, three potato, etc., to kick off a fiddle tune. Regardless, there's a typical kind of fiddle-derived phrase that's common in American Old Time and Bluegrass that's used to kick off fiddle tunes. It's essentially there just to establish time and then get everyone on the same page for what the tempo of the tune is going to be. Now, I'm gonna just show you a couple different variations today, but uh, this can be applied to kind of any fiddle tune in any key. We're gonna be working primarily in the key of G, and then I might show you how to do it in D or C. We'll see, okay? Um, so, potatoes, what are they, right? The typical way that I heard potatoes phrased uh, was kind of like when I first started listening to Doc Watts and you would hear this, like when he would play Salt Creek or something. So those are two potatoes right there. As I understand it, one potato is this. So it's essentially one beat's worth of that phrase. Um, now a really simple way to do it uh, is to just kind of like grab the fifth fret on your D string, which is a G note, and double it with your open G. This is a pretty common thing that fiddle players do. They'll double a note when they give their potatoes. I think just to kind of add a little bit of a strength and gusto to the note and increase the volume of their instrument. Like I said, the point of this is to establish the, the time and the tempo for the tune. So uh, it's pretty important, right? So the kind of basic way to play potatoes would, would just be to double that string and go down, down, up, down, down, up. One, two, and three, four, and. Now another variation on that could be to do a hammer on from the fourth fret of the D string, that F sharp note, into the fifth and still double those strings so you get more of kind of like a chromatic rub to it. You can also slide in like I said. So you might be wondering how to use this in the context of a fiddle tune. I'm gonna play the first couple measures to Big Sciota here and show you how I would get into it with potatoes. We're going to give four potatoes up front, so this is what that would sound like. So you can see that those potatoes just mark kind of the eighth note rhythm that I'm going to be playing that melody at, right? So let's kind of move on to another variation of the potato. We've got the basic version. but there's kind of a syncopated version that I really love to play for my fiddle tunes. Um, this one is kind of counted one, two, and three, four, and, right? This next variation, we kind of just like skip that second strum. So we can do that and then do a couple regular potatoes after it. This is what the whole thing would sound like. Etc. So those those kind of long potatoes that I play at the front are uh, kind of like a listen up everyone we're about to play the tune 
And then the last four potatoes we play are really establishing that time and tempo, okay? All right, my friend, I know that this is a really simple concept, but this can really take your fiddle tune playing to the next level and make you sound like a pro at the jam session if you know how to give some potatoes on all of your fiddle tunes. Like I promised, before we get out of here, let me show you how to do it in the key of D. You would just move down a string and then hammer on from the fourth fret of the A string to the fifth fret of the A string and double those D notes. the heck let's do it in the key of C too so for C you would just move down a couple frets and hammer on from the second fret of your A string to the third fret and let's see what we can do on Billy in the low ground now if you're a flat picker or old time guitar player, you're probably going to use a capo to play in most other keys. So those three versions of the potatoes right there, plus the variations I showed you, should get you through pretty much any fiddle tune or bluegrass vocal tune, anything that you're going to have to play that way. Before we get out of here, hit that subscribe button below and let us know in the comments, have you ever used potatoes to kick off a fiddle tune before? Really interested to know. All right, my friend, thank you so much for tuning into this video. I hope you have fun with your potatoes, and we'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.